guys today we're fishing with shrimp and we're gonna do shrimp on a jig head i'm gonna pitch some dock and we're just gonna see if maybe we can get a few sheep's head to bite i'm fishing with my pin clash 2500 haven't used this one in a long time there we go Hopefully we can get a few sheep that don't want to eat. Now there gotta be a few in here somewhere. I feel like a lot of snappers. There we go. Sheep said, target a species right there, guys. Yes, sir. That's what we're looking for, baby. Let's go. Oh, heck yeah. Come on, sheepy, sheepy. Sheep, 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 sheep. Mm -hmm. Let's go. He's a little too short. We're going to let him go. All right. Let's let this guy go. Oh. There we go. Got our pictures for our thumbnail. There we go right there, guys. Beautiful little sheep head. Let him go. See ya. What I'm noticing is, what I'm noticing about that is um, the fact that when I was letting it sit down on the bottom, I was thinking that it was a um, snapper. So I wasn't like setting the hook. I was just letting them eat the bait because I thought it was just snappers. And I set the hook on the first nibble I felt and just so happened, sheep's head. So I'm just gonna start setting the hook on that first hit. It gets hit, I'm just setting the hook. If I miss, I miss. It is what it is. They have plenty of shrimp. Like I said, these are pieces of shrimp. So I got plenty of bait. I'm not worried about bait. Come on. Give me another one. Wow, they hit it that fast. I looked down for two seconds and they already freaking hit the bait. Oh my gosh, a big one had it. A big one had it. I might have to switch to my other rod. This 2500 might not have enough power to really set like I need it. I like fishing with 2500 because you can fill every bite with this lighter line or just lighter rod. Dang. Dude, they're thieves, dude. These freaking things are thieves. I don't care what nobody says. Convicts are definitely, definitely a good name for them. Because, boy, tell you what, they're thieves. Could be a lot of snappers, too, down there. So, there we go. There we go, guys. That's a nice sheep. Oh, it's a big snapper. Big snapper. Big snapper, let's go. Heck yeah. Still got the shrimp. Oh, you can keep the, there we go guys. Nice little snapper. Pooped all over me. Let him go, see it. There we go.
Oh, as soon as it hit the bottom. As soon as it hit the bottom. These little snappers, really? That's the thing with using shrimp for bait. You gotta weed out a lot of smaller fish that love shrimp. So that that's gonna be the thing with using, now I see why. Like last year, I was using a lot of uh, mangrove crabs, fiddler crab, well, not even fiddler crabs, a lot of mangrove crabs because you weed out a lot of fish using crabs. All right, guys, I have the trolling motor on a very low speed, and I'm just going to keep going by these docks, flipping in and out of these docks, and see if maybe we can catch a nice sheep's head that way. Oh, my gosh, that was a nice one. That was a really nice one, dude. Oh, my gosh, I got a spot lock here and get another shrimp in there. He might come up and eat again. Oh my gosh, that was a nice one. I set the hook and I felt the weight of that one. Tighten out my drag a little. Oh, there's one right over there. There's one on that pylon right there. There's one sitting right on this pylon right here. See if we can see if he's seen that fall. Yeah, he saw it fall. He saw it. He saw it. He freaking saw it, dude. Unbelievable. Golly, man. That's the only crappy part about fishing with uh, shrimp. You break them in pieces, you got a lot more pieces, but gotta be another sheep set right here. I just feel like there gotta be another sheep's head right here. Gotta be another one in there somewhere. I got two nice, but oh, oh. Uh, I felt like a snapper. Let's get back out of there. Oh, that felt like a sheep. Oh, that felt like a sheep. That's a sheep. That's a sheep right there. I knew it. I knew he was. Oh, my God. He came off. He came off, dude. Oh, I'm so afraid. The way this tide is moving, it's almost like it's an outgoing. Oh, sheep's head just came down to hit it. He just came on it. I saw him. He chased it down. Got him. Got him. I saw him go down for it. Heck yeah. I saw him go down for that one. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. I hate sheep's head spines, boy, they hurt so bad. There we go right there, guys. Targeted species, not the size we're looking for, but hey, definitely works out. So, Mwah. here we go. See ya. Woo! All right, guys, so we're pretty much figuring it out. I went down to a smaller hook. I'm fishing with my Pen Clash 2500 on that uh, Daiwa seven foot rod. Um, I figured it out. I went down to a smaller hook, which is pretty much like a number one snapper hook And I'm having a lot better luck with that. I was throwing the jig in there, but I think the snappers was getting to it way before the sheep's head, but I'm actually seeing the sheep's head now So it's like I can see them on the pile and I throw it and I can watch them follow it down So it's kind of helping me out So we're gonna keep moving up on to a couple more docks and see if we can catch a few more fish and uh Keep this thing rolling. So guys stay tuned All right, I feel like there's a big one under there. One more here and then we're gonna go try a couple more, a couple more spots and see if we can find a couple bigger ones. He's on, he's on, he's on, snapper. 
Oh, sheep's head. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, he freaked me. He was hitting that freaking pylon so hard. Heck yeah. All right, we're going to go fish uh, a different dock and see if we can see if we can find some bigger ones. But that is a targeted species right there. That's it. We're going to let them go. See ya. All right. We're going to get off this canal and go to another canal and just hop around some pylons go see if we can maybe find a couple bigger ones to play with real fast we're just fishing with a bunch of little ones over here all right let's go see if we can get some some bigger sheep to play See if we can go find some bigger sheep's head. Ooh, I might bump that pile on. All right, guys. All right, guys and girls. We're gonna go to another side and see if we can maybe find some bigger sheep's head. I mean, we're catching sheep's head. That is our targeted species, but there's just no size to them right now. And uh, the current flow is just a little too much on this side that I would like to have for sheep's head because I would like to throw it even with this light line and let that thing kind of sit there. So we're gonna go further into the canal a little bit just to make sure that we get a little bit out of this current and uh, see if we can catch some bigger ones. So let's go see if we can make it happen. There we go. That's a nice sheep's head. That's a nice sheep's head, guys. That's a nice sheep's head. Yeah, that's what we've been waiting for. That's what we've been waiting for right there, boy. A lot better sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Ooh -wee. That's a nice one right there. Heck yeah. That's what we've been waiting for right there, guys. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful. I fished that jig. And that is what you get when it pays off right there. Heck yeah. Woo -wee. Get that jig out of his mouth. All right, guys, this is what we was looking for right there. A lot better sheep's head. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Ah, uh, man, it was in a grind. Went through a lot of small ones, but this is probably about 12, probably about 13 and a half, maybe 14, probably pushing, but this is what we're looking for right here. Beautiful sheepy, sheepy. Woo! Let's get some more. Let's go. Let's see. And I did not even feel that guy on there. I was just reeling in and felt some dead weight. So you must have had it the whole time. I just didn't know he was on there. Let's see if there's another one over there. If not, we'll scoot up a few more pylons. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. There we go. Nice sheep's head. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Let's go. Oh my God. That's a big one, dude. That's a big one. Ooh, monster. Let's go. Oh my gosh. What a toad, dude. What a toad, bro. Let's go, dude. 
Who heck yeah, bro. Heck yes. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, that is a stun. That's a lot bigger. That's a lot bigger right there, guys. What a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. Got that jig stuck right there in the corner of her mouth. Oh my gosh, heck yeah. Oh, she's missing a lot of teeth from eating barnacles. Wow. Let's go. Beautiful fish. Woo. Heck yeah. Heck yes. We're not keeping any today, guys, so we're just gonna pretty much get our jig back and release the fish as fast as possible. Pliers, because I stuck him really good. And that's why I switched over to my heavier setup as well. So I actually can set the hook a lot harder than that little rod. I think that's was a lot of my problem was, oops, oops, oops. Don't stick me, boy. My problem was I couldn't set the hook as hard with the other smaller rod. So I switched over to this rod and man, it's definitely made a huge difference because this is a actually a heavy rod but I got such light line on it that I can actually feel every single bite that happens. So that's why the sensitivity is still there. Whew, heck yes. Beautiful fish. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Heck yeah. All right, guys, there it is right there. Another beautiful fish right there. And that's just flipping docks with shrimp. Everybody say you gotta go out and have oysters and barnacles and crabs and this and that. No, you don't. Frozen shrimp, live shrimp, whatever you wanna use. That right there gets the job done. Whew, beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Woo! Just let him go. See it. <sighs> Let's go. Made our trip worth it. I knew I over there we was just catching a bunch of small sheep's head, and I just knew that there were some bigger ones around, and that was a bigger fish. Um, I will be entering the sheep's head tournament uh, coming up in February, so uh, hopefully I can get some new techniques to take up there because last year. There were some really good guys up there fishing that tournament. So we're going to, um, we actually won it last year. I actually see another sheep's head sitting there. I'm going to get rigged up and try to catch some more fish. Let's go. There we go, guys. That's another small sheeps. Another little guy. Oh, came off right in the boat. Calm down, little guy. I'm going to strength and I'll get you back in the water. Calm down, stop being so frisky. Definitely want you to poke me, boy. There we go, guys. Nice little sheep's head. Let him go. See ya. All right, guys. We had an amazing day today. We was able to get a lot of sheep's head. Nothing of no really great size but we was able to get at least two nice, nicer fish. It would have been keepers if I was keeping fish today, but we wasn't keeping fish today. We was just going out, testing out the waters. You know, our season's really starting to get full in effect. Sarasota area, Venice area, stuff like that. They've been getting sheep's head for the last few weeks and our sheep's head really just started trickling in within the last week. So we had an amazing time on the water today and I hope you guys enjoyed the ride along with me. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I drop a video. Until the next video, guys, tight lines, peace.